Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl once again. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to get into Supergirl and the casting news. Obviously yesterday's video was all to do with the breaking news that three actors are in the running. Well, they're going to be screen test in the coming weeks to play Supergirl in the DCU for Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, but first off in another DCU project, which is more likely than not going to be Superman Legacy, and that's because James Gunn is heavily involved with casting. Yes, you could argue maybe he's going to be involved in a lot of casting in the DCU because he's in charge, but I think in this case it's because Supergirl is going to be in the film. But anyway, to get to the point, let's go into this comicbookmovie.com article, link will be in the description below. So this video is going to be different because we're going to be talking about what James Gunn posted after the Supergirl article came out, confirming those three actresses in the running currently. And so he's addressing those articles specifically, or so we believe, because he released it literally right afterwards. But I'm going to be breaking down this article because I think it kind of sets the tone pretty well. So this is how it goes. Last year, James Gunn sent out a tweet declaring that he was going to start commenting on slash debunking rumours, and to his credit, he did that just on Twitter. Since switching to threads, the Superman Legacy Direct hasn't been able to resist weighing in. Earlier this week, Deadline claimed that Millie Olcott, Melia Jones and Meg Donnelly were all in the mix to play the Girl of Steel in the upcoming Woman of Tomorrow movie. Shortly after the article hit, Gunn shared the following on threads, and I quote, it's difficult to debunk stories that are fake but with some element of truth. Eva, I have to point out what's fake and what's true and give away a bunch of the stuff I didn't want to, or I just say the whole thing is fake and get accused of dishonesty down the line when the one true part comes out. Anyway, there's a couple of those stories around recently. So that is what James Gunn had to say, and for context, he posted that literally right after the Supergirl article came out talking about those three actors. And so I believe what we can take from this is probably that something in that article, something that they claimed is wrong. Now, of course, we can go straight to the actors. Maybe one of them was never in the running. Maybe one of them is just a name that Deadline just ran with and never properly confirmed that they were actually going in for new screen tests. Maybe they were like some of the names that they initially thought of in like a list a while ago. But I think what most people have taken away from James Gunn's comments after the article is that there's probably something that is just slightly wrong because the way he words it is that, you know, if he points out what's fake, he has to kind of reveal what's true and he doesn't want to do that. We know that film studios and people in charge, especially in these big budget films that are you know, DC related or Marvel related, no one wants to reveal the spoilers because, you know, part of the surprise is going into the film and getting actually surprised. Or for instance, saving a casting announcement until they do maybe like a photo shoot or a video because that's just a way for them to actually promote it rather than, you know, spreading rumors around or different things like that. But you have to take it with less of a grain of salt just because it's deadline. But yeah, it's a screen test, so it's not actual casting yet. But it's interesting that he says, you know, there is some element of truth to what we've heard and we've just taken it to be this is to do with the Supergo article. So I believe maybe one or two of these actors are properly in the running. And we've heard that Meliolka is actually the favorite right now, according to some sources. Although that hasn't been 100% confirmed, but there's a chance that they could maybe even skip Alcott and skip the rest of them and go for a straight movie star that's what they've said in that article so it sounds like you know nothing is set right now although James Gunn knows obviously the behind the scenes details but he just doesn't want to reveal everything so yeah I think we can safely assume what he's referring to here is you know one bit of this article is true but most of it's not true because that's just not what they're going with and another part of that deadline article is in regards to the fact that Supergirl is going to appear in another DC project before Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, that could be maybe true or that could be false. I, I think maybe that could be one of the things that he's referencing 
too like it's not all about the casting in that article I feel like that was a big piece of news that they dropped in that article and so maybe Supergirl is not going to appear in DC's Superman Legacy film like maybe not it could be you know she shows up in another project or maybe she doesn't show up at all and maybe they're actually casting for Supergirl one or tomorrow already because they're going to get started with production once they get a director in the next like year so I don't know what's true I don't know what's false I think we can assume maybe one of the actors isn't exactly correct I feel like that's just the easy way to go with this but let me know what do you think of this in the comments down below I'd really like to hear your thoughts and opinions but before we move on I just have to say I kind of like the way that James Gunn is going around with this I like that he's being open but he's also kind of being a little bit mysterious about stuff it's always good to know a little bit but not knowing too much so I think this statement is actually quite good and I like that he's not just lying because obviously in the past we've had actors who straight up lie because they've been you know threatened by Disney or Warner Brothers or someone like that to not tell anything and you know they have to lie their way until the film comes out like classic example is Andrew Garfield for Spider-Man no way home like he couldn't tell anyone for such a long time and he kept on getting asked and we already knew they were filming by the time he got asked so obviously he had to lie for his teeth and people have gone back to that and have been like why were you lying and obviously that's just not something James Gunn wants to get accused of he doesn't want to be accused of being dishonest because he obviously wants to get the fans trust because he is building this new DC universe he is being very open and he wants people to actually like him and like what he's doing because I feel like that's just an important way that he's trying to connect fans to this new universe because I feel like the DCEU wasn't super connected to the fans. Yes, Zack Snyder is very responsive now after everything that went down, but I think back in the day he wasn't super, super responsive and you know you see like the MCU like Kevin Feige isn't 24-7 answering people but James Gunn is doing that so you know I think I should commend him and I think you know he's doing a good job with this and I'm looking forward to what we have to see especially excited for Supergirl of course but let's move on to the next topic this is completely linked in so shout out to 21 times 4 this is a Twitter account online they've created a concept art piece showing a look at the new Supergirl obviously this is a concept so it's nothing 100% true it's just a concept about what Millie Olcott could look like as Supergirl and so he goes on to say this series is about crafting character concepts taking initial ideas and turning them into fully realized imaginative creations and he goes on to say I've been developing a Supergirl concept for some time now initially I had a different actress in mind for the role however it was announced that several actresses would be considered for the new Supergirl in the DCU including Millie Olcott given her outstanding performance in House of the Dragon choosing her for the concept was an easy decision and I sincerely hope she lands the role and gets the chance to showcase her full potential so shout out to 21 times 4 because as you can see on the screen this is an insane piece of artwork and it gives us a good glimpse of what a Millie Olcott Supergirl could look like especially because she is supposed to be the front runner right now to land the role so I think you know this is just a really nice look and an insight into what we could potentially be getting now of course this is nothing official the suit isn't going to be like this but I do like the suit it's very comic accurate and I think it's very fitting for the DCU and I think what James Gunn is building with Superman Legacy that's obviously going to set up the future of the DCU but also lead into Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow so I'm very curious to see what David Corrin Sweat's Superman outfit is going to look like because I think they're going to be somewhat similar in terms of their costumes and that's because obviously you want some sort of continuity with how the quality of the suit looks and how you know it looks on screen basically so yeah shout out to 21 times 4 this is a really really good look at what potentially Millie Olcott could look like as Supergirl go follow his stuff link in the description below but for now if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment let me know down in the comments below what do you think of all of this to do with Supergirl do you believe that James Gunn is debunking some of these casting rumors in terms of who's testing 
Or is he debunking Supergirl showing up in Superman Legacy? Is that what he's talking about? Also, what do you think of this concept art? And have you seen any other concept art that you would like me to feature? Because obviously I'm very interested to see what, you know, a potential Supergirl could look like for us. Because I'm a big Supergirl fan, a big DCU fan, looking forward to what James Gunn is cooking. So for now, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new around here. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.